This is beyond asshood. You have the luxury of not caring about your image. I do not. I can permit a lot of crap, but an employee shouting about his sexual exploits with me, no, that is zero tolerance. So congratulations, House. I am angry. I was wondering if we should move in together. <laughs> You're fired. I wouldn't worry about it. I think she likes you. If I'm fired, I think that probably means I don't have to see the patients. I'm here as a squeaky wheel. <laughs> I know how you doctors are. You're busy, you get distracted. My lab results can be sitting in your inbox. I don't need your labs. You have acid reflux. Well, how could you? Acid splashes on the vocal cords, they tense, make that squawking sound. It's completely harmless. I'm gonna give you a prescription, and you're gonna go away. You are a great doctor. <laughs> Why you move your belt? I always move my belt. It makes me sore. You didn't tell me that. At 86, what isn't sore? Soreness is less important than squawking. It's the squawking that was bothering my wife. Ugh. That's not a pot belly. That's a tumor. That's why pancreatic cancer was on my mind. My brain was trying to tell me. This isn't sounding good. Pancreatic cancer. Can cause acid reflux. We should scope you. So it's not good. Even for cancer, it's not good. No, it's not. The deodorant has a high proportion of propylene glycol. Same stuff made a kid in Singapore develop a heart condition and get this, seizures. Our patient may never have needed split brain surgery. I'm sure he will half appreciate the irony. Take this man to radiology, pancreatic scan, and stay with him. Eugene Schwartz. Whatever it is, just say it quickly. You have more than one lipstick in the same shade. Maybe one that has a sealing agent and one that doesn't. How could that possibly be relevant to anything? You really don't think you're just overreacting to the other night? Fine. I am overreacting. You've said plenty of lousy things to me before. But reaching the final straw has been a good thing because it made me realize we not only don't have a personal relationship, we never could. You're, you're... You've been overreacting to something I said. You insulted me, I walked out. It's nothing that hasn't happened a hundred times before. I quit. Great. My nanny is off the clock at 7.30, so your week off. You can go suckle the little bastard child who makes you feel good about yourself. Screw you. That's not what happened. I told you that I needed you. You you helped me. Are you okay?
So, this is the story you made up about who you are. It's a nice one. Too bad it isn't true. Thank you. 